Okay. This has been the course. Uh, hold on, I gotta defog my my headset. This has been the cursed mission, uh, or the video. Um, I've run it like this particular one four or five times, because first I wasn't seeing something in the symbology, which I think I finally figured out. And B, I recorded this one, and another one yesterday, which took a while, because it took me a while to freaking get hits with the uh, radio-controlled missile. Um, And when I went to check the videos, it only got the audio for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to re-record them because I don't got a choice. So we're back in the biggin. We're going to do the anti-ship missile first, the old anti-ship missile. And then we're going to do the radar-controlled missile, which is radio-controlled, which is not an easy weapon to use. I probably won't use it, so I don't really care about practicing that much, but... We'll get hits with it, and we'll call that good. And uh, I finished my reread of the manual, so I got a little more background on stuff at this point. And yeah, we're good to go. Let's get into it. Let's just lose some altitude. Yeah, somewhere around 300 meters looks good to me. Get out to hold on. And space bar. In today's lesson, you'll learn how to use the RB-4E anti-ship missile. You will approach the target area, detect the ships on your radar, and release the missiles towards a small convoy of three transport ships yeah. traveling south along the coast. Marks aren't there. That's good to know. The ships will be in the vicinity of Waypoint B-1, which is just off the coast of Georgia. Roger. Thought I hit spacebar. Set the weapon selector dial to attack to select the RB4 missiles. Set the targeting mode selector to ENKEL to set set the master mode selector ah, to sorry. ANF. It's a set single release instead of ripple. Um, I've done this so many times. I'm just doing them, uh, and we want single release. Okay. Uh, Turn on the radar mode to PPI mode by setting it to mode A1. The radar will display two distance markers at the maximum here, and the minimum and recommended here. release ranges. That's what Fly I Fly towards find. the B1 waypoint. Maintain an altitude between 50 and 450 meters. Roger. If you're outside of the release altitude envelope, the altitude warning light on Over the central here. indicator will be lit. Cap. So this is what I wasn't seeing, the max and the min. Um, I was expecting it to be green overlays rather than black, I think, which is what was throwing me. Uh, let's get a range out, too. Uh, might change that, because I got a different stick set up now for my radar cursor. And uh, I might put it on that. <sighs> Actually, I, I don't have it set up for the radar cursor yet. I have it set up for the missile, the radio-controlled missile. I'm hoping I can set both axes, because I should not be using them both at the same time. I'm not sure if the system will let me. Hopefully it will. Alright, let's drop down to the altitude they're asking for. Can we do this in autopilot? Yeah, we can a little bit. Cool. Okay. Trim hat. And also do a standard rate left and right turn. Not sure what the each click of the uh, up and down gives me. I don't. I may have read it, but uh, I don't remember it. So we got the ship showing up on radar. Small blips. Still a considerable distance from being within range. We're at uh, 50 kilometers. Let me see if I can step the range back on the radar now, though. Yep, I'm still in. Yeah, it gives us a little bit better resolution. Set the trigger to unsafe. 
Continue towards the ships and maintain the release envelope between 50 and 450 meters. Right. The altitude warning light should be off. Yep. Ah. <coughs> I'm going to try to launch one, separate to the right, come back in on a different angle and launch another to hopefully get two different ships rather than one ship the same with both missiles. Uh, indication not on the HUD yet. I think that's 40 seconds out. We'll start getting the uh, distance line on the bottom of the HUD, which will contract towards the center. Once it hits the marks, we're within max. I believe, there we go. So there's our distance line. And you I should now be within range. When the ship radar contacts are within the two release envelope markers, line up the target with the center line of the radar. Press the trigger to release the first missile. You will have a slight right roll, and to counter, either use left stick pressure or apply some left roll trim. Press the trigger again to release the second missile. All right. So once we get once we get within range, we are going to launch. Okay, I'd say we're within range. So, rifle. The missiles will fly autonomously and will track any target that appears within its search area. You may fly around as you wish to observe the missiles. Normally, you would just return to base or take evasive action against any enemy threats. Set the trigger to safe. Try going even tighter on the radar. Come back in towards the target area. Line one up. And rifle. I think we're a little more over. Rifle. I hope. <laughs> you can't really see them when they come off, which makes it hard to know if they actually launched. Now we're going to follow the missiles in. Yeah, we got it. Go ahead and save the trigger. Probably map that at some point. I got plenty of extra buttons. Well, I may as well. I've also seen it in the other various runs of this training mission, where once the first missile hits, the second missile... Congratulations. You just sank your very first ship using an anti-ship missile. Will retarget. This concludes today's lesson. Ah, it's going after the same ship. Let's see if it retargets. I don't know if that's realistic, but they've done it before. Okay, so it skipped that. And it's going to pop this one. I don't know if that's realistic. I have really no idea. It seems weird that they would be able to determine that unless the missiles are communicating with each other. So I don't know. I just have no idea. Uh, let's do a quick punch through the clouds, because we can. <laughs> How much I like punching through the clouds, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, during COVID, I stopped my flight training at Instrument. <laughs> I'd love to do it again, I just... It's a lot of money. And I have concerns about being able to maintain a medical going forward, so. I do miss flying, though. All right. That's it for this one. Um, pretty straightforward. And uh, I'll be back shortly for the... Um, radio controlled, and that might take a while because it's not easy. Anyways, uh, that's it for this.